Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Lost in Translation Mon. This time we're covering Digimon Adventure Call in 2020, episode 31, A New Darkness Millennium Mon. Just before we begin, a bit of a mention that we did cover the Wonder Swan games last week, so if you haven't listened to that and you want to maybe get some context if we start to discuss who Millennium Mon is and any a backstory that Millennium One had in the previous season. Um, you might want to listen to that first, just to fill in some gaps. Uh, also, something I, that we didn't mention last week because I didn't actually realise it was the One Swan coverage was actually our three hundred fiftieth episode of the podcast. So that wow. was uh, ph- abs- that was phenomenal timing. I did not time that, but it's really good that we got a special out on the uh, on a milestone instead of just a random episode yeah. which usually it's just a random one unless it's planned but yeah no that, that was completely unplanned uh you can tell by the fact that i didn't, didn't mention it usually i do mention it. it yeah <laughs> but when i was uploading it uh it just said uh episode 350 i'm like huh Heck yeah. all right that's 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 a lot of um that's a, that's lot, a lot of episodes of that's, that's like if you listen to one a day that is almost a year's worth of content and that's not oh, even no. including any of our video stuff uh, on the YouTube channel, which is at the moment just me playing through the uh, Digivice colon, which is pretty fun, especially when you're playing along with the anime. But uh, yeah, no no spoils on that because thank you. Yeah, I, I don't. I'll only I'll only mention it as it becomes immediately relevant in the show. Uh, you can just call me Gen I uh, because I'm only <laughs> going to mention it as it's relevant. Anyway, so yep, so happy 351 episodes now, and uh, yeah, so I guess uh, also we have. An extra, like, sort of guest. Uh, we have Chloe, but we'll be calling her Chloe, uh, and we'll get her chipping in in the discussion portion of the podcast. Uh, so, so okay, Chloe okay, will... has basically never seen Digimon. Yeah, and we'll get to that in yeah Chloe's chip in. Mm-hmm. Chloe's chip in, but uh, yes. Yeah, so, so that that'll be exciting. But uh, with all that out of the way, with all the housekeeping out of the way, it's time to move on to the show. I just want to point out something before we begin, and that's the fact that Anime Lab clearly just had a problem this week. Uh, not to, like I'm not including the fact that the app on the TV just was very slow, like just incredibly slow, and it wasn't just me. I, the the entire Twitter was just like, "Hey, anyone else experiencing Anime Lab lagging?" I'm like, nope. But there are a few other problems. So the main problem was uh, the fact that the subtitles appeared to probably uh, maybe someone did a typo when they were setting up that file because instead of There's for example maybe point sixteen plot. pixels, yeah. yeah, yeah, they they like maybe added an extra digit to the end and it was just huge. So instead of like sixteen pixels, it was like one hundred and sixty or something. So it took up the like three words would take up the entire screen. <laughs> I tweeted a lot about it because I found it really really funny, oh. um, especially on the uh, "Hey look, it's Bakemon! Hey look, it's Millennium on screens!" because yep. it was just like that the um, name wrong. Is That's Millennium Bakemon, Mon. and then it me- yeah, and then it immediately <laughs> says Bakemon as the subtitle for the translation of the Japanese on the screen. So I just found it just ridiculously funny, and uh, I'm not. As of, like, last night, it was still an issue. I haven't checked it this morning, uh, but it's pretty funny. Oh, also, it appeared to be embedded in the actual video because I tried to do a clever and go through developer tools and see if I could disable them <laughs> because Anime Lab doesn't have the ability to turn off subtitles. Uh, so I was, like, looking at the developer tools, seeing if I could just manually either change their size or just hide them. Uh, no, apparently not. Apparently they're embedded in the video. Uh, from what I could see, which um, is also a problem I'm assuming for Anime Lab to fix. Uh, so hopefully that's hopefully uh, that'll be fixed for them because that's on that's on the not topic fun. of subtitle related hilarity. Uh, I I think I got fan subs this time um, because I oh. I am old fashioned in the way that I acquire anime, um, and so I got some really funny sentences like. The two finally activated on their own the awakening evolution of the unknown. You know, like you do. Oh, what? That, oh, that sounds right. like a song. That sounds like like a rap. I'm pretty here two for it. They activated on their own the awakening that, that, evolution like... of the unknown. Uh, we also had. Are we uh, getting? That yep. one had also been a great Digimon who led the Army of Light along with me. The Army of Light or the Army of... I, I can't tell if you said the Army of White or the Army of Light. And I can't light. tell what's worse. I'm, I'm posting the thing now. Okay, yeah. No, th- th- those are some those are some like classic subs. I like, love I back these in the day, like, subtitles, and I just decided to go with it because like, I kind of half listened. Yeah, I love and that was also kind of that screenshot. 
that's to be fair, like Lotmon is has always been just sort of vacant. Yeah, so so Lotmon apparently like, just made the decision not to talk for three episodes, is what I'm getting. Oh, I got I got the impression that uh the like witnessing War Greymon evolving uh caused her memories to re- to reawaken. <laughs> no, I get like, that. I thought that's what she said. But but did that mean that before yeah. to having those memories she couldn't talk? Is that how this works? Yeah, without Maybe, memories I, she I, forgot I, how to talk. I kind of I kind of like that. Like Maybe. it just sort of. So apparently I mean, we've like, been saving our word budget for a while now, but we still only really got two people to talk. <laughs> like okay, the, the okay, what I like about the fact that she doesn't really talk much is, or, or didn't before, <laughs> didn't. is the fact that maybe talking is something that's that Digimon can't do naturally. Maybe? Like they actually have. I to, like, wish they would tell us. Learn I it. wish that any of these interesting oh, ne- ideas mattered. Oh, they're never going to tell us anything because that, like, that, that anything that sounds good, we can just like guess, and at least they, they did- don't say otherwise. They finally they told just us spent something. a whole episode I'm, like, telling us here everything. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I, I guess we'll move on to the 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 synopsis. But I just want to point it out that um, my enjoyment of the episode I thought at the start would be completely like uh, lacking, but turns out I, I didn't. This episode is not terrible, uh, despite the huge subtitles. We did ask for and more got, writing. Yeah, it was. Well, it wasn't more writing. It was just more. It was just bigger writing. Same thing. But uh, yeah, it, it was. It was something. Um, it was hey. definitely more than the actual show. You know, we. I, I'm anyway. honestly here for this episode because we actually did get some exposition and and a goal, and I I like that. I I like this because it sets us up into like a path of. There's of a hope. story again. Like it does. Yeah, th- there was a story, and also there were some things that happened that just sort of also are jumping ahead way like twenty minutes into the future of this episode. But like, I like how Tai Chi just straight up says, "Hey, is it Hikari?" <laughs> Thank you. And I'm like, whoa. Someone whoa. is slightly, not- <laughs> vaguely, maybe genre savvy. And also, in the entire speech that like Lotman was saying, she said like light, as in Hikari, like about 15 times. And the entire time, Taichi was going, huh? 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 Light. Which was like, huh. oh. Huh. Hey, that's my sister's name. It wasn't like <laughs> in the original where like he just doesn't seem to really i mean he does ask hikari if, he, if she has a digivice but it's like a sort of oh, she said mate, no don't, can't so... hurt to ask yeah yeah mm. but through the whole thing like he doesn't say it from the start so yeah props to taichi there are a lot of things that happen in this episode that make me go Hoo! yeah uh, but like i guess we'll get to, something that. to this but yeah yeah, um, which is good because we haven't had that before. Well, we haven't had that for about fifteen episodes at least. No, I was also pointed so, out to me by uh, Ostig uh, that uh, this is the first time since since when was uh, Dun Devimon? Oh, like twenty seven. Like episode twenty, no, yeah, like twenty seven something. Like twenty five actually. Um, but that this is the first episode since uh, Taichi got bored that. Uh, that we have not had Digivore. And I, for one, am a little bit happy about that. Yeah, which is great because I feel like we've had so much... I, wow, uh, 12 minutes into the recording, we've already mentioned Vore. Uh, but yeah, it's... <laughs> it's, 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 it's I, take I no just wanted to point out, I was grateful that it didn't happen in the episode. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I salute you And Digimon you having just evolved non-boring. without boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But still, there was something that triggered the evolution, and it was a black lightning, but we are getting ahead of ourselves, yeah. so we'll just move on with the, the regular synopsis and not just... Because, I mean, it's my fault. I jumped 20 minutes into the episode yep, because apologies. I was just very excited about a lot back, of things. We will go back, but... Uh, but yeah, um, also a forewarning is that I was in pain yesterday, so I had painkillers while I was watching this episode, so I'm not sure how accurate my uh, enjoyment of this episode <laughs> was. I'm glad to hear that Quinn doesn't hate it from what I can tell so far. No. So that is a good sign. That also, that the mysterious but, world it, where Digimon yep. live, the digital world, as I pan through the subtitles. Why does that sound like it's a bad tr- translation of like a video game for some reason? It's it's pretty there. The two finally activated on their some... own, the awakening evolution of the unknown. <laughs> I'm getting... That is such a rap! That, that is like the next <laughs> verse of the Digi-Rap. But anyway, so Beamon and Sora asked Taichi how they did it. And Taichi says that they were just really frantic, so that caused the evolution. And suddenly Lotmon's just possessed by some ancient memories. And during this, and this is the first time in the episode I, I get really just ridiculously excited over nothing. So we have Patamon's ears pricking up because 
there was some holy Digimon activation going on, <laughs> and then and I, I might be uh, I, I might be wrong about this, but I'm fairly certain that Skull Nightmon also reacts. I believe that you are correct. I honestly kind of think that's Tailmon. Probably. Yeah, I, I, which is great. Because if that happens, that's good. That is good. Mm-hmm. That, that is a good thing that's happening. If that happens, that is like almost some semblance of some good writing almost. or something. Because it means that mm-hmm. it means that Hikari got kidnapped because like she had a Tailmon's reason to go along actually with there. It. Yeah, like yeah. Alter- oh. Alternatively, it could just be a Moon Millenniumon reacting because he's holding Moon Millenniumon, that's and fair. Moon Millenniumon has memories too. Uh, Hikari does re- seem to react because I'm still on the board of the, like, the the theory that Hikari is just being possessed by homeostasis the entire time. So it's homeostasis mm. reacting. I don't know, uh, but definitely there was something that Skull Nightmon is reacting to, and like th- that is hopeful. That is something that I'm going to be pretty disappointed, honestly, if Tailmon's just like another prisoner, like. Uh, how Angemon was a prisoner. I mean, we know that's gonna but... be what it is, but but we can we can hold out a little bit of hope. Yeah, like because it's just so boring if it's just the same thing and it's not. Oh, she's actually because it, she was actually evil in the in, in adventure, and then was like, oh no, I'm fine. So I don't know. It could be something pretty good, and I'm excited for that. And also, uh, there's some lines in. Um, and I'm not going to re- say them, obviously, because they are spoilers, but there are some lines in the synopsises for episodes 31 to 35 that make me very much think some a certain way. I'm not going to say what way that is. Uh, they are available on With the Will if you want to read those or those synopsises, uh, but I will not be saying them because they are spoilers, and I believe Stevie and Quinn both want to be spoiler-free. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm avoiding, avoiding that much as anyway. Much as I can. I'll watch yeah. the next we'll time find on. Out and, yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, next time ons will be uh, are not considered super spoilery because they are shown in this episode. But uh, anyway, so I, I have emotions. Anyway, Lotmon says that Lotmon is her name in this life. I'm going to give her female pronouns, pronouns in this show just because yeah. I want to. Yeah. No. But I don't think that... I, I think Lotmon has always been fairly... Pretty gender fem-coded, neutral. yeah. If if anything, yeah, but fem coded, but but neutral. Like um, like I always thought, you know, Terrymon is a boy, Lotmon is a girl. But the the two gen the two genders, Terrymon and Lotmon. Exactly. Um, <laughs> honestly, Terrymon's same. Also, just wants to watch the world burn. Anyway, uh, Lotmon says that she's she has memories of the ancient war. And then War Greymon reverts to Ogamon and he's hungry, which is great, and Woodmon gives him food. And I'm just like, I'm glad that we're referencing that evolution takes effort again. Like, and it's not just, oh, plot convenience, I can't evolve. It is, he's just hungry. And I like that because otherwise they've just been reverting to child and not really caring much. I don't know. Anyway, there's some black lightning again, and Lotmon says, oh, that's the sign of the new darkness. And then Taichi remembers the Digimon with the shiny wings in the temple, which is Valdemon, and Sora remembers what they were told about the war. And then we see that there are a bunch of Bakemon nearby, and they get powered up by the lightning, and Lotmon then parts the green trees. And I'm just like, ah, Lotmon's so cool. I love Lotmon so much. I'm so glad that Lotmon's here to deliver plot. Yeah. Anyway... So then the Bakemon attack and seem to have some tree burning power, which I'm not sure is because they got powered up by the lightning or if that's just something they can do, but I'm here for it because it's really, really creepy. It sure looked like Lot um, Mon, yep. like powered up by lightning. Also, this is just a Yu-Gi-Oh card. We just turned into Yu-Gi-Oh for a minute. Yeah, which I like because, you, I mean, from my understanding is that Yu-Gi-Oh is fairly dark. Like it's on the dark side of like it's on the edgy side which and then flirts with dark occasionally and i like that like i have no problem with edgy shonen like i i am like an edgelord at heart (laughs) like i would like oh i'm i'm gonna be careful not to cut myself on that edge like i i I just dig it when when digimon gets edgy i'm just like yes i am here for this that's fair like because like there's a bit there's sometimes we dip into the edge which is great so (laughs) you walk on the edge a lot more I, yeah, which is just like, that is just straight up in Yamato's character song. I'm like, wow, that's edgy. I love it. I love it so much. I, I, I love edge. Anyway, uh, and not the wrestler. So Lotmon tells the chosen children to follow and then gives them memories like from her consciousness, which is very homeostasis 
gives the children, like, the view of Tokyo in, like, the original adventure, which I'm very much here for. Like, this is a good way to, instead of just showing the view of flashbacks, we're actually showing the characters' flashbacks, That's... which I'm very much more a fan of because they can actually see things. I'm here for it. And that means that when they know things... But I also just couldn't get over when when Mosesmon parted the Green Sea. Yeah, I I, I loved (laughs) it. I was like, what was that? That was... I I can't believe you passed over that part. (sighs) Yeah. Anyway, Lopmon be wild and and, and very conveniently doesn't stay with the cast. Yeah, which is like, that seems seems about right. But also... She's just a child level at the moment. Like, we don't know if she has, like, the ability to evolve into Cherubimon now because she's got her memories, or if she's just going to be a child level Digimon. I don't know. And any, anyway, like, maybe we'll see. I hope we'll see her again. So we see the Ancient War, and Lotmon morphs into Cherubimon. And then we see Z. I'm pretty sure it's Zed Millenniumon. Like, it looks like Zed Millenniumon, but without, like, the data binding around, like, the outside. So... That's kind of cool. Or maybe it's a new form of Millenniumon. I don't know. I, I, I'm just very excited to see Millenniumon. I hope, I mean, I hope, but I doubt that we'll get any sort of um, backstory to how Millenniumon came to be. I want it to be so, like the same sort of thing that we had in the original adventure where Millenniumon is the product of a Digimon that we beat and also another Digimon that we beat that was created by a future chosen child, but then went back in time. I want there something to be wild like that, as in see our Wonder Swan coverage. Uh, I want something wild. I don't want it to just be, there was a Digimon. He was super evil. That's the end. He just attacked everyone and, and it happened. My Like, I, I don't want something. I mean, my yeah. impression from, from the description they gave is basically, yeah, that war happened and it never really got resolved, but none of the same individuals are going to be involved this time, really, which sounds maybe good. Mm. It's just disembodied yeah. evil incorporated into Millennium Mon, which I'd be pretty okay with. Yeah, even but if I'd we don't get I'd prefer if we have sort of. Mm-hmm. I would like some origin story for Millennium Mon because. Yeah, I would also he's... like that, but I feel like that's what gonna be the original power source or whatever the crystal will have formed or from something, something. Yeah, but I, I just, whatever it is, I hope it's good. Like I hope we get something that's not terrible and or lazy. <laughs> Then uh, we see Angelmon and Angel Woman, and the show sort of makes Angel Woman covered in like some yellow light because we haven't seen her design in the show, which I don't. I, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. Like, okay, it kind of makes sense from the perspective of we don't want to spoil a design, but also wh- why not? Why is she just covered in light? It's the same way that why is only War Greymon now no longer a silhouette? As we see all the ultimate, well, mega level Digimon run past, like it's it's weird. We then see Angemon evolve to Seraphimon and Angelwoman evolve to Ophanimon, which is kind of cool. Boo. And again, Seraphimon and Angelwoman become just surrounded in light because they are spoilermons, and we don't get to see their designs at the moment; just <laughs> their faint outlines covered in light. So that happens. But it's pretty cool in the way the way that we see. Magnetromon yep. is better than Ophanimon. That's that's just my opinion. Oh, I I I definitely like um Holydramon slash Magna Magnadramon uh better than Ophanimon, but I mean I am a I'm so a little partial to Ophanimon. I also kind of vaguely had the impression from from what they were talking about with the, the like twin souls thing that we're maybe gonna get a Jogress between them, which would be neat. That'd be cool. That'd be Ooh. very, very cool. I I would like that very much. I, I want Jogresses between all the kids who aren't Yamato and Taichi. Like, but the, and I've mentioned it. I just want to see Cerezmon because that would be pretty good for Phoenixmon and Rosemon combined. It's just a giant bird, but also a landmass. I love that. <laughs> it's, it's great. Anyway, so the eight Mega Digimon of the, the, well, the mega forms of the children's Digimon defeat Millenniumon, but the whole continent is destroyed. And Lotmon says, and this part was kind of hard to get because it only showed you some of the words on the screen, like about three words on the screen with the subtitles. So I'm not really 100% if I'm getting reading this correctly. But Lotmon says about how the flow of the data is the source of power in this continent called Eternal Continent. And the power that's being gathered is being used by the sleeping Millenniumon, and that that's basically all I get from this moment. It's I'm going to have to rewatch it with fixed subtitles and or 
me yeah. listening more for the words. Yeah, it was still pretty vague, but yes, something, something, we're going to use data and fake news to power evolutions. Yeah, to fight By they do evolution. destroying all the satellites so that the news can't be shared properly. This makes <laughs> perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to form a, a artificial meteor out of the ISS, and I, <laughs> I just can't get over that. And it's going to Tokyo, the perfect place. Tokyo. Also... Uh, the, 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 I can't believe they put so much effort into, like, the flight path is weirdly accurate. Yeah. I, like, so, we didn't put our money into graphics. Uh, Chiloe here was joking that uh, <laughs> instead they paid for a PhD to come up with that flight path. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, really, all you need is someone who's played Kerbal, but still. Mm. I'd also like to point out that while Lotmon's saying all this, uh, she says Hikari a, a bunch. bunch of times, and then yeah, like a very large amount of times, and then Taichi's face is just like, huh, like he looks like he's <laughs> thinking about something. And I have it in my notes, like Taichi's just stuck wondering who the other Digimon is, but I think I think he actually might be wondering who the other child is. Like he's it's... gone one past that. I want y'all to take a look in the the uh, Discord channel where I just posted a, a picture of Taichi's face. <laughs> Uh, did you post our oh, Discord channel, not the chat? Yeah. In, oh, yeah. In, the the yeah. face of like, wait, I have a sister. <laughs> oh. Very much what that is. Um, but yeah, props on him for remembering he has a sister. By the way, um, somewhere we still have his mother in the in the human world, uh, wondering if she should have children. So <laughs> that's a thing. Anyway, so the Bakemon have caught up. And Ogamon evolves to Greymon in a nice quick flash, which means that I have hopes for the episode because we're not getting full evolution scenes until obviously War Greymon later. And we get Beomon to Birdramon, and then the group comes across a small village, and then one of the Bakemon has evolved to Metal Fa Phantomon, which I love the design with barely. We, we saw him last in Savers, but he's also been on Virtual Pets, but we haven't really seen him to this extent, and also he was weirdly massive in Savers. But whatever. Then we have something really great that happens, can, can and it's the fact that Greymon here? evolves. Because we missed an opportunity. Oh, yeah. We introduced these Bakemon, oh, yeah, but Joe isn't here, so we don't get to know, is it a helmet or a hat? <laughs> yeah, It has straps still... this time. I think it had straps in the original, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I did... Okay. Yeah. Either way, it's bad. <laughs> Oh yeah, it, it definitely because we see her like have it in a drawer in the original adventure, <laughs> and but we've also got a hit on it. It just it's both. That's all I can think of is that it cha maybe it changes its it's a quantum um, hat. material in, depending if it's in the digital world or the human world because it's we we only ever see it be hard in the digital world, right? I mean, and then we yes, only see it soft in the human don't. world. That's literally actually. I, I'm I'm there for that theory because. The Zero Two kids, like their character design sort of evolved and their clothes evolved when they went to the digital world, so I'm fine with her hat changing material. Anyway, so, uh, what? yeah, we have Metal Phantom on, and then we have what I was saying is one, something I really like about the episode, and it's the fact that Greymon evolves mid-battle, which I think we saw in episode one and then barely ever again. So, like, he's fighting, but while he's fighting, he's actually evolving. Yeah, that's a good one. Which is just, don't like... don't do that enough. It's, it's so great... Yeah, it, it's... I think it's happened less than ten times in all of Digimon where we've established that there is actually some time that happens between the evolution. It's not just, like, everyone just doesn't stand around and wait for the scene to stop to continue fighting. It Greymon continues to fight as he's evolving to Metal Greymon, and it's just so nice to see. Like every yeah. time we get to see that, I'm just very excited because it it's, it's such a basic thing that and we just don't get. I am not without gripes about this episode because we still definitely get some Photoshop going on, but they they seemed like they cared yeah. with the animation this week, and I I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and there's also like the backdrops are just beautifully drawn. Like when yeah. we have Padamon's ears pricking up, but when we have like the far shot of Takaru and Padamon who are in the distance, but also don't seem to look terribly like they actually seem to be appropriately uh, animated for how small they are. So you can't really tell they've got like a weird face or anything. It looks actually pretty good, and the backdrop is just beautiful looking. So it, it, this episode like very much seems to be a higher quality than the previous episodes in a lot of different ways. Yeah. I mean, War Greymon still, is still not it's, the it's scale, not perfect. but, yep. you know, 
that's fine. What even is scale in Digimon? Like, do people do we really care? No, we, we don't. Like, Al- I Al- just think it's really changes funny. sizes constantly. Yeah. Anyway, so we have Metal Greymon basically struggling against one Met- uh, Metal Phantomon, and then meanwhile, Bergemon is just fighting two Metal Phantomon because the Bakemon she was fighting evolve, and it's just, <laughs> gee, Sora, how come the writers let you fight two bad guys? Like. I feel like the writers feel bad about not letting Sora do anything in the first like half of the show, she still doesn't and get all to of a sudden in this she's episode. just yeah, she, she gets to talk. I mean, a like few she times. doesn't really get to talk in this episode. She, she gets to go. Wow, mentions Ty, the war. You get on that. Yeah, oh, she, that's she, so she was cool. she was present. She existed in the conversation, but like. She didn't get to be part of the recap yeah. or anything. No, but I'm just I'm just happy that it's something we got to see the Garudamon super strong. Yeah. Then during all this, we have Koshiro still trying to see what's going on with the ISS, and this is another time the subtitles were not helpful for me because <laughs> it's all just that a repeat I could of, really get of what this... we had last week. The, yeah. the ISS and then plus a the bunch de- of satellites are going to form a meteor somehow, and. Bad and they're going to crash happen. into Tokyo because, of course, they're going to crash into Tokyo. Like, of course they are. Like I said, it's <laughs> Where this else? The only place it exists is Tokyo. flight plan that crashes on Tokyo and then apparently just yeah. destroys all of Japan and into mainland China, I guess. Yeah, basically. The tsunami to I end guess. all tsunamis. This is maybe an extinction level event and we're not really acknowledging that. <laughs> mm. Anyway, back to the main char- well, the main character plus Sora. Metal Phantomon evolved to Gokumon, which I just want to give a bit of uh, trivia, but the fact that this Digimon that evolves into Gokumon actually debuted in 2001 and was actually the boss in a PlayStation 1 game called Digimon Rumble Arena, which is just, I'm so happy that we just have another Digimon that we've not really seen much before in the anime that just be in the anime like this is a digimon that debuted 20 years ago and i don't know i i have a lot of emotions whenever they bring a character either a new design or an old design that we've barely seen so well done gokumon um i still beat you by just abusing the v headbutt the vmon has in rumble arena but i'm i'm very much i'm I'm happy yeah yeah anyway so an additional side note is that I love the little evil, like, muhahaha chuckle that Metal Farmimon, ha- Metal Farmimon, Metal <laughs> Phantomon has, or Metal Farmimon, just missed out all the syllables there, and, I don't know, it's it just really, he's not talking, and I know that the dub will make him talk, but the fact that he's just laughing makes him so creepy, like, this episode is really creepy, like, yeah. he does a good job yeah. of We're... making creepy characters, because... Yeah. We're living up to what the format can do. Like, we definitely do have a very limited budget for uh, dialogue, and that's fine, at least the number of actors that we have. Um, but yeah, you can you can do a lot with these villains if you have them be more than just silent vor. Yeah. <laughs> you know, those which silent is, vor era of movies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. You mean all of the Digimon, this Digimon season so far? And then we have Bergemon evolving to Garudamon and instantly just wipes out two Metal Phantomon in one hit because she's just the strongest. And I love the fact that sometimes we just see Garudamon being able to just do something that Metal Greymon can't. Just we we had previously a few episodes it's just her obliterating a bunch of Megadramon. And in this episode we just have her obliterating two Metal Phantomon while Metal Greymon's still struggling against one of them. And I'm very much here for that. I don't know. It's just very 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 I'm I'm very happy about this. It's just really cool. And it makes it feel like this episode's not leaning towards a uh, War Greymon just being the only one fighting. And then it makes sense why War Greymon is necessary for the fight against Gokumon because Garudamon's just basically destroyed two Metal Phantomon. That she, she gets a free pass for the rest of the episode. That's fair. I just, I really think that's it, like so. I can't say this episode is a Tai Chi episode, even though it kind of it was. It was a little removing... more. Ta- Sora deserved more like lines, but I yeah. I will say that she got to be more active in the episode than she pretty much mm. ever has. So. Yeah, good for that. I mean, I I don't think Tai Chi had that many lines either. Yeah. To be honest, like yeah. I think he said that the mm. War Greymon had the evolution because they were frantic, and then he reacts a bit to Lotmon's exposition, and then yeah. later on asks if Hikari is another chosen child. Like I don't think Tai Chi really talks that much. 
It's no, like, I it's... think he probably has the same amount of lines as Sora in this episode. I, it's I still definitely think it's a, a bit lot more, but you may be right. It's definitely a lot closer. Yeah. It's probably a lot more episode which is nuts. followed by Koshiro. Yeah. It, it's a pl- what, whatever it is, it is a plot episode. It's very much, it's just exposition, 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 which more or less is similar to what we already had in episode five. It's just like a recap of what we learned in episode five, but with a few additional steps. But besides that, it's it's pretty alright. And the fight's like a decent size of the fight. It's not like, it's not too small. It's not just a, that you can just blink and you miss it. But it's And it's not like the entire episode. It's like a good length of the fight. Anyway, we have Gokumon having some weird uh, fire attack, which at first I couldn't tell if it was um, Metal Greymon's fire or what. But and it's kind of it feels kind of um, stiff if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, so Gokumon's super strong. Metal Greymon has to evolve to War Greymon, and I kind of I, I guess we're just kind of like not going to try Ultras mode first, which is I don't really know how I feel about this. It's either we're forgetting that Ultras mode exists because we can go to a higher form. Yeah, Ultras or mode is, just... is in the evolution yeah. sequence, but which otherwise I like. not. Yeah. I I think it was just acknowledged that nah, fam, this ain't working. Yeah. Which I mean, I guess that's. But fine. I, I'm, I do, yeah, I do appreciate that we're going to like we try Greymon and then Metal Greymon first, just because it's nice that we don't forget those forms altogether. But and and it's also good. Like I saw some people complain that we're not going to get Warp Evolution straight from Agumon to War Greymon, but I felt like the moment that we had that in the original, and maybe I'm misremembering, but we just we did not see Metal Greymon after Ever that point again, because no. we could just go directly to well, Ultimate. And we if basically we actually have got to that evolve, with like, Lopmon, in stages, and yeah. I'm. Th- Fine if that's just what we do instead for this season. I don't think Lotmon evolved. I think that was just a, I mean, an image no, of Trubimon. But you know what I mean? Like the the we have yeah, that yeah, adult I, I form that mean. I don't recognize in the middle. Uh, um, uh, tu- tu- Turemon. Mm, okay. or tu- I think it's Turemon or Turemon. Oh yeah. It's like it. It's this really cool fighting looking. I just yeah. Like um, it's Gargamon suddenly my fights new favorite with guns. Digimon, Turemon and I, fights I need with to fists. It it's a very cool design. But yeah, you're right. We haven't really seen that design much before, and I wish that we saw more of it because it's a really cool design. Mm-hmm. I actually love all of um, Lotmon's evolutions. I was, but, and I'm yeah. skipping ahead a minute, but I was really disappointed that uh, Lotmon did not come along. We just wrote out another Jesusmon for the time being because I was hoping Lotmon would find a partner. To be honest, yeah, Get- um, uh, Willis, Ken. <laughs> oh yeah, that works. But then Wormon, Sam. I like Wormon. We can't just... Oh, Sam! Oh, but we still have to kill Sam, though, because Ken needs some more motivation to be emotional. It's fine. We're going to have to do some kind of great sacrifice, and it doesn't have to be Hikari that way. Yeah, I like that. But, yeah, I just... Yeah, because... Oh, well, I guess it said that... We didn't really say that uh, Trubimon was a holy Digimon, just that she was involved in the war. Um... She glowed. Maybe, was, was, but... Yeah, she glowed. She... Like... I always thought that she was, uh, but then this show said, oh, the Holy Digimon were a pair, which is Seraphimon and Ophanimon. That's fair. Maybe Lotmon I... just point herself down. I will be a little surprised if Lotmon doesn't come back, and I would definitely like it if... Oh, me too. I would love it if there were a ninth child in... We you know, we've got 30 episodes. You can actually now Ooh. pull that, and I'll, I'll plot it, because you didn't just make a mystery out of Hikari. Yeah. Um, there's something I will say, is that... In the 11 non-secret areas of the Digivice colon, the final boss that you fight is Millennium Mon. Hmm. So th- there there will be a point in like the next five episodes where I have no idea um, what will be going on because the Digivice has, will, will have, like, the, the story in the Digivice will have will ended. Have up and come. Yeah, so uh, I believe that we're either getting a new updated Digivice, like in uh, Tamers and in Savers and in Frontier, how we just got a it's version either that 2 or upgrade the for the protagonist. the theory that Survive got delayed for this. Yeah, which is my, like, theory Jeez. of, like, Sips Whiskey. Hmm, Survive, what if Wonderswan? Um, I also... I, this is me hoping, not me predicting, because I don't think this will happen, but if the next, like, 30 episodes are zero two, 2 I will be here for this. I don't think we're getting zero two. Very much. I, so. I think if we were going to get zero two, we'd have teased that when we were in the real world. 
Mm. Even just having one of the kids cameo, but we we didn't do that. Oh yeah, in the or in the Nidhogmon episode where they're all looking at their phones, we could have like Miyako yeah. or Daisuke or even Yori. Just yeah, it's it's not it's probably not happening, but I'm still going to be holding like a little bit of hope for that happening, just because I just I I, I really do think that Zero Two could use with a reboot. I really liked Zero Two. Zero Two was good. Looking Yeah, but look looking back on it and analyzing it, it's one of the worst seasons, but I still like I love it. I still love Zero Two. I love the characters. I love Miyako. But it deserves more. It deserves better. You know what like my wildest dream of this is? We end, we get to episode 66, and the very last thing that happens is the logo after the colon has uh twenty two. Yeah, I like <laughs> that. But wouldn't it be, I think it would be 23, because Zero Two was set in 2002, which was three I mean, years after 1999. Pick, pick, pick your way yeah, of doing I, I it. That would mean. be a really cute ending. Yeah. And I think 22 would be a good way of doing that and just be like, yeah, this happened in 2020, uh, early 2020. So now it's approximately three years later. Shush. Yeah, I get it. I, I, I get it. I, I, and I'd be hyped for that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so we have a fight between Gokumon and Wargreymon. It's pretty cool, but pretty quick. Wargreymon kind of just puts his claw through Gokumon's chest, which is kind of gnarly. Like, I'm here for this. It's a very and fast fight. And then he wins. Yeah, it's very fast because that's not the... the it's, it's a plot exposition episode. It's not a fight episode. So the fight has to be done and dusted fairly quickly, which I I like. This is a good percentage of fight a lot and plot also, in one episode. also, like, like, made a point of saying you can't use that form for very long, and, and I would be pretty down if it were, like, a 10-second time limit. Fine, you can do the finishing blows with Oh, like, the it, like Megas, in Atmon. But yeah, like, you know. I, I forgot that existed. Like, in, in Atmon, they can only hold, <sighs> like, their fully evolved form for 60 seconds. Yeah. And there's, like, a counter on their Digivice. I forgot that. That was... That one was so good. Like, oh... It, and I'm not saying pull that everything. gimmick again precisely, but, you know, make it make it a, a finishing similar. move kind yeah. of thing. Like, uh... Oh, like Digimon World 3. I'm... I'm where you I, can do the blast I want that. Form. Like, that'd be great if we had, like... You can't hold your strongest form, so sometimes it might just be better yeah. for you to go to Ultras mode. After the fight, a bunch of... Komondomon show up from the ground, and apparently they are old friends of Lotmon. So that that's kind of cool. Like they are just old friends of the ancient Digimon, and I'm 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 kind of here for this. Yeah, fair. Like I I don't know. I'm I'm here for them having all these ancient friends, and they're just buried underground for the whole time. Like that's oh it's not the worst thing that Digimon has ever done. So I'm I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna you know yuck that. I I also I just love them in general, and I love the fact that they just woof. In agreement, mm. uh, it's great. Also, uh, in the preview for the last uh, episode thirty for episode thirty one, it uh, it just they looked like Langley. What? They did. So I this is this is a good Digimon. It's what if Langley? I know I know it's not the breed. It's a it's a very specific breed. Like uh, I think it's I think it's a Hungarian breed that uh, Commandramon is. Uh, but it's it's not Langley. Langley is a Jack Russell Terrier. But in this, in the one shot of it, just the face with the with the mouth open, I'm like that Langley. It my dog. So I just I love I love this Digimon. I love all dog Digimon though. Anyway, so Taichi asks Lotmon if there are other holy Digimon other than Angemon, and Lotmon says there were a pair. And then we get what I said at the start of the episode, where we just have Taichi doing what OG Taichi basically never did. And it's just, he straight up says, is Hikari the other chosen child? And then Lotmon nods and basically says, well, she's in the digital world, so it must be so. And I'm like, that feels like, I know it's not sass. It's a little much. But it feels like, it feels like it's Lotmon just saying, come on. Come on, thanks, kid. Ca- like, ca- thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> a Why bit. else is she here? <laughs> you know what? She channel, got summoned. Channel Terrier Mon for a second. Give me that sass. Like, uh, imagine if, like, all of a sudden Lotmon just, like, slide evolved to Terriermon <laughs> just to be sassy. Like, just to just to give the smackdown and then go back to Lotmon. Lotmon's like, wait, wh- what was I saying? Oh, yes, exposition. Like, I, it just feels like a little bit of sass. Like, well, she's in the digital world. She got summoned here. She was said she was called here by something. Do the math, kid. Like, it, there's just something that's... It's just something... <laughs> Uh, Taichi says that he wants to rescue Hikari and find the Holy Digimon, and Sora says they should find the others, which all feels like... Ve- I feel like they gave Sora lines that would just be Taichi's lines, but they needed her to talk, so they had, like, Taichi saying the first part of the sentence, and then Sora completed his sandwich by saying, <laughs> maybe hey, we should also find the others. 
and the and earlier on we had the same thing where Lotmon was saying about the war and then Taiji starts off by saying, "Oh yeah, the winged Digimon," and then Sora saying, "And there was a war." Like it just feels like they are the, they are one character uh, finishing each other's sandwiches. So I'm just I'm glad we have Sora having lines. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain too much about that. And then meanwhile, we see that Skull Nightmon has Moon Millennium on under his cape, and I'm still hoping hoping I'm still hoping that. Uh, we have Moon Millennium on, uh, well, Skull Knightmon being Tailmon and Moon Millennium on just corrupting Tailmon or something. And it, I, I'd really like that. And then this time, the Digimon Encyclopedia, we're learning about War Greymon, and Agumon is helping uh, yeah. out and oh, damn it. says that the big boy pants are heavy, but he'll do his best. And next time, we're going to learn about the I, best boy. I, I forgot. Mondo-mon. I forgot to watch the Digimon Analyzer until we were recording, and I just, I'm dying at my big boy pants. Oh, it's really good. (laughs) What? (laughs) Now we're done discussing the synopsis of the episode, let's discuss discussing the episode. Of course, as I mentioned in our housekeeping segment in the intro, is that we will be starting up with our special guest, Chloe, doing Chloe's chip-in. <laughs> Chloe, please take it away. Yeah, uh, so this is uh, Chloe. Hi, hello. Uh, nice to see y'all. Um, basically, I was just asked to kind of give my impressions on uh, Digimon, I guess, as a franchise as a whole, uh, from my very, very small amount of experience with it, namely being basically this episode and the fragments that I can recall about the Digimon movie right yeah uh so this this show is wild um i'm very basic and pretty much uh i watched a bunch of pokemon when i was a kid and that was that was my thing growing up um i haven't really paid attention to it since uh, like the third generation though um but it just strikes me as so wild that this is a children's show sometimes um especially with just all of like the the world lore there's like oh yeah you know a thousand years ago we were doing a uh, battle with these other digimon and you know uh like both sides died or something like that and that's just so unfathomable for me coming from pokemon where it's like the worst thing that would ever happen would be someone would faint for like an hour or something like that yeah i don't know this this uh this show is bizarre also the um going off on a bit of a tangent here the naming conventions in digimon bug me to no end because sometimes you have stuff like greymon for uh you know a digimon that is not gray uh or <laughs> but you know other times they're extremely descriptive like a um ice devimon which is like an exact description <laughs> um so like huh. some digimon just have names other ones have like descriptions as names which just weirds me out i wish they would pick one or the other um but that's neither here nor there i guess um i had other stuff to say oh, yeah, i'm yeah. running low on steam so um, you you have not yet encountered lucemon fall down mode pardon me Lucemon. as in lucifermon oh gosh yeah, like, the, the names are just, like, extremely on the nose, and I guess that, that might be part of the, the draw, but <laughs> it's... Oh, gosh. That's... <laughs> that Lucemon. sure is Lucemon. Yeah. Then there's regular Lucemon, who is weirdly cute. Mm. It, it's, uh... Digimon is just a, a bizarre experience. It's <laughs> like, it strikes me as if uh, Pokemon tried to also be Dragon Ball Z. You're not wrong. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I feel like there's never that much on this, like on at stake in Pokemon, at least in the uh, in the show. It's never like save the world. They do that sometimes in the movies, to be fair. But in the show, it's just like, oh yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, Ash wants to be the very best, so he just keeps on going. And in this one, it's like, uh, yeah, so like you and like four other chosen or however many other chosen people uh, just like have to save the planet from like extinction. It's such two a two planet, two planets. The, is the Digiverse like a separate planet? Well, it's its own separate universe. It's a little. It's a whole. It's got a Narnia component to it. Yeah. I and think just, this season so much... describes it pretty well. I can't. And, like it's a. Um, I don't understand this it's show. It's connected to the net. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, it, it sometimes almost strikes me as though the writers are just thinking to themselves, okay, people are going to stop caring if the stakes aren't high, so how high can we raise these stakes, you know? <laughs> We've got, like, yeah, the sister who's uh, being kidnapped, and because of prophecy, but also, like, the B-plot is that the world's going to end, and that's the B-plot? Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. S- sounds like Digimon, that checks out. It's... 
It's only like it's the a fourth lot. time it's this a season lot. that the world's on the verge of ending. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this is normal. It's like, to me, for me, it was Tuesday. Yeah. Well, and so it's, uh, you know, obviously a lot of this can be chalked up to the fact that I did not grow up with Digimon. But yeah, it's like, it's so hard for me to follow what the heck is going on sometimes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't the, imagine that. And admittedly, Quinn did tell me that today was a very, uh, you know, you apparently didn't have any real plot happening for the past, like, ten, almost, yeah, episodes. Yeah, very long time, and then they just spat it out at you today, uh, so that might have been why it was kind of yeah. hard for me to digest, but I was just like, whoa! Yeah, so first they recapped everything that happened in the first ten, ep- well, something that was mentioned in the first ten episodes, mm-hmm. then didn't come up again for twenty episodes, basically, mm-hmm. and now we're just doing it. Here we go, second half of the show. Yep. Like, this, this could be a perfectly fine episode ten. Yes. Like, if we just skipped all the evolution arcs, th- uh-huh. this it feels like it's really just the tenth episode in terms of all the the, the lore we're only the getting. The writers now. clearly like people don't get to talk until we're getting to new content with them. And if they were gonna mm. do that, I wish that we had just explicitly done, yeah, these are the old adventure kids, but I don't know, the reboot affected them. Whatever. Mm. Mm. And and just like let their evolution yeah. stay intact and go from there. But the kids have to learn lessons again or something. Which feels like yeah. what they want to do. It's just they've been bored for 20 episodes that they felt like they had to do. Mm. I don't know. It, like, you know, I think back on the Debbie Monarch, which it feels like they felt was obligatory, but absolutely despised doing on a moment-to-moment yeah, basis. Yeah, and also, remember, mm. the majority of the cast weren't even there mm-hmm. for that, uh, that battle. Yeah, it happened because it needed to happen. And then in the meantime, we set up what has apparently been a much more important part of the plot everything on the internet where we're doing our war game but a fourth time and so much yeah. bigger we, it just keeps on happening it's mm. it's we have so many game. war games mm. which it's just, I just said, digimon like, adventure I, but... 2020 colon our war games mm-hmm. again and again but see i really do like our war game i think it's, it's a good probably movie. my favorite digimon movie but i I don't need to see it like four times a year. Like I Shilohi think I was, I was happy with Summer having. Wars. Yeah. Uh, sure. Though I think okay. <laughs> the same I think director I like basically remade Summer Wars. the movie, and it's very funny. Mm. But I'll show you that some other time. So it is but, wild uh, as the movie. <laughs> yes, it's almost exactly the same plot as the middle third of Digimon the movie. God. But <laughs> yep. but with a bigger budget and like no Digimon in it. I just hate that. I, like that movie was one movie with three distinct plots yes yes it was because they wanted to compete with <laughs> yeah, Pokemon because originally, the movie beca- because they <clears throat> it, originally it was just three movies and they put them all into one movie and tr- yeah. which almost would have been fine if you'd done them explicitly as vignettes and then just put a new title card up but instead they mm. they tried to weave that into one ongoing narrative in a way that just doesn't I work didn't mind. yeah like i could never tell if they were trying to do that or not <laughs> A little bit, but without editing any footage. And so, like, they talk about Willis a bunch, even though Willis is a pair oh, character no, who doesn't appear in that movie. No, they do edit um, Willis's face over oh, uh, the random Australian kid who helps Koshiro. Okay, but, that, yeah, but, that, that's but about they, it. Didn't, they couldn't do any editing that didn't involve Photoshop, because we also... Y'all mm. remember the, the, the credits? As the Digivolution was up and coming, and the the incredible yeah, the just dragging of uh, clip art elements. Yeah, which I, uh, I kind of liked it. it it's was very an much a product time. of its time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, d- does Chloe have any more thoughts? Not particularly. Just it's, I don't know, it's it was... wild. It's a good show. I, it's just uh We'll pick a better a... dive-in point sometime. Yeah, it was an interesting point to just kind of get a yeah. glimpse into this whole other universe that apparently has just been going strong for so long. <laughs> yep, all going of this just feels normal. But never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. Strong yeah. It was on hiatus so... for like 15 years or something. Yeah, yeah like Atmon sure so... made it feel like it was going strong for a minute. Yeah, a- Atmon was good. I, I like Atmon. actually just start you on Atmon. Okay, I don't know it's what that good. means, but probably I'll the best season of Digimon. <laughs> all right, why is the best season of Digimon not discussion. called Digimon? <laughs> yeah, so d- so I think uh, Chloe has to Chigoi. I think we were saying Ch- Chiloe has to Chigoi. Well, we we said free to Goi, but I, I don't think she's actually going anywhere. Free to Goi. That works so much better than what I was trying to do. But uh, yeah, so thank you f- to Chloe for chipping in there. It is always good to hear from 
somebody who's not necessarily a fan to <laughs> tell us that Digimon this is wild. Sort of yeah, whisper in your ear. Tell us that mortal. this is wild. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. having. But me. also, it, it's it's all right. It, it's a good episode to um to throw plot at people that are new. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyway, on to our discussion. Uh, what were our highlights? Because I basically just really liked this episode. I liked the fact that we have. There was Some a plot. Some reference to the plot and lore. There was a plot. Yeah, it's there so was nice lore. having the plot. We remembered a thing that happened legitimately more than 20 episodes when we talked to a rock. I feel like we didn't yeah, dwell on the or... part where we talked to a rock for a minute. <laughs> and also there was a, a ghost bird, a bird of a ghost or ghost of a bird or something that, that was happening. There was there, there was something happening there. But no, I just, I have a lot of highlights. Um, I'm adding a tentative highlight of like... Uh, Skull Nightmon reacting to uh, the awakening of the Holy Digimon in a way that Patamon was also reacting makes me feel like, is Skull Nightmon actually Tailmon? Like, I mean, it could just be Maloon, M- Maloon? Moon Millenniumon. I can't talk. Uh, so Sorry. I, I have decided that we needed yep. a programmer joke yep. here. And so I've decided that with the single yep. equal sign, oh, no. we are now pronouncing this character's name, or at least I am, as Moon Gets Millenniumon. Because it's just <laughs> like a variable that. assignment. M- motion carried. Yeah, m- motion carried. So Moon Gets Millenniumon is reacting to the Holy Digimon, or if it's actually uh, Skull Nightmon reacting because Skull Nightmon's actually Tailmon, I don't know. I'm thinking I maybe hope- both. So that's why I say it's a... Yeah, I hope that it's a bit of... I hope we're just putting in a little bit of a highlight there of just, like, it could be the case. I hope it is. I'm still doubtful because it seems like... I don't know. I, th- that seems almost good. And I don't... St- even though this episode was better than what we've had, I still don't necessarily have high hopes for this season. Um, I actually was su- um, surprisingly excited for this episode, which usually results in uh, me not enjoying an episode because I just hype it up too much. But this it episode kind actually... Of up to it. It wasn't perfect, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean maybe it's because we were talking about Millennium on last week that I was kind of excited to see Millennium on. Mm-hmm. Uh I'm I'm glad that it seems that we're doing a slow burn with Millennium on. We're just not finding out about Millennium on existing and then fighting him next episode it seems. Yeah, uh, like, I'm very much here for that because Digimon has a habit of like, oh, oh, we have a bad guy. There he is. Let's fight. Yeah, like, like I, for I, all I that it was we're poorly done, there. apparently we're supposed to conclude that Devimon was was just a distraction, and I wish they had yep. like, for like clued us into that episodes. a little bit. Mm. I mean, we had mm. Moon Millennium being the reason that Devimon evolved twice, more or less. I mean, we do. I just so like th- the, you yeah. know, in episode twelve, it is really unclear that Devimon does not at all matter. Um, also, I wonder if I, I know that digivices are different in this show. They kind of—they're not just physical objects. They kind of just sort of show up when you become a chosen child. But imagine if Moon Millennium One actually has Hikari's digivice, and that's what's giving him the power to make other Digimon evolve, like with uh, Skull Knight One to Dark Knight One. I mean, we definitely and did that with Devimon. Ken. So you could you could make an argument that all of that kind of comes together. Um... Yeah, but in in this series. The, in the original, the Digivices were a physical thing yeah. that existed and Hikari's got lost and then was in the, the human world for a bit. In, in this show, they just sort of appear in the Chosen Child's hand. Like, Takeru just sort of had his... Um, we ha- Back when we first got uh, Biomon evolving to Bergamon, it just sort of appeared in her hand uh, during the evolution. Mm-hmm. So no, it's no, sort I of agree. this thing that appears. It's, it's at least yeah, slightly it's, metaphysical I'm, in nature. Yeah, but I would really like if, if uh, somehow Moon gets Millennium on already had uh, Hikari's Digivice, and that explains the evolution. I don't, but that's all I can think. And that'd be cool, though. There'd be a lot that would be cool there. There, there would be several cool things about know. that. I would love like an ardent attempt to uh, convert Hikari. Like yeah. God, evil Hikari would be just too good for this world. Yeah, I, I like that. Well. Too, too good, too evil for this world, I don't know, but it'd be good. No, it would be too well just, written for this yeah. world they have constructed. It would be too good yeah. for this world. Um, yeah. A- another highlight is the fact that, and I, I, I might be wrong, I, I'm, I might be the only one thinking this, but I'm actually really glad that we're not just doing the same bad guys as in the original series, like how we got Devimon, that's fine, but we're not going to go Vamdemon and then on to the Dark Masters. I'm glad that we seem to be trying to do something different. I mean, I know Millenniumon isn't necessarily something different because he was there 
sort of, in the Wonder Swan games, and then he appeared in Zero Two for a hot second, and he's basically a main character in Tamers, sort of. Um, but the fact that that's more or less a new bad guy for the adventure kids to fight in the anime, I'm kind of here for that. Like, th- th- it's nice. It's nice to see something newish happen. Like, we're not going on to Vandemon, then to Dark Masters, then Apoclemon. We're going to some different new bad guys, or new-ish bad guys. So I'm, I'm actually here for that, but I might be alone in thinking that, because I know a lot of people um, are still saying, where's my Otismon? And my answer is, in the original. Like, I love my Otismon, <laughs> I love the Dark Masters, but I'm glad we're doing something new-ish. Like, Devimon was fine, sort of was like a throwback. I'm glad he evolved into something that was strong. I don't know, but, I mean, those are just my thoughts on the matter. I have a lot of highlights for this episode, I'm sorry. The less they bring I lost back track of some of that, I'll better, be honest. In my opinion. Yeah, it was a lot just me rambling that I'm glad that it's not bringing back everything from the, ori- from no, the original. No, we are, being we are firmly sort of in new territory, and that's pretty good. Yeah. I would maybe be down for the Dark Masters existing, but not necessarily being like an organized group, just encountering all of those mons at well, some point. We've encountered we've encountered one of them. Exactly. So I'd I'd be down to Which cameo all of them. Which also makes me somewhere. very confused because but Millenniumon is part Mugenjimon and uh, Agumon Dark evolved to Mugenjimon. Please let time travel the be responsible. I... Please let it be Agumon's Mugenjimon. <sighs> Yeah, that'd be that'd be some good like opportunity for some actual character like interactions and Taichi thinking like, oh no, my partner is actually evil. It's it's got it a real Darth Vader moment to it. Taichi, I am your mm. partner. Search your feelings. You yeah, know it like, to be <laughs> true. We'd be rioing it up. That would be Plus, great. then Rio could show up and be like, God, what a mood. <laughs> And then we actually have Millennium on just being a pl- another planeswalking being, and he's just from the original adventure universe, and he's just like, I'm so down. I'm for that. going to see if I can. I, I I showed up a little bit earlier this time, so Rio couldn't beat me. But also, I'm in love with Rio. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, like is all be, canon cool. in this wild episode. Yeah, like anything could happen now. I'm I'm very hopeful in this episode. I'm glad that. This new darkness could also make me hopeful. It is it is uh, rare so for you, something Digimon. to get me to go, please, please introduce time travel. But this is it. Yeah. Like, and they can do some really interesting timey-wimey stuff. And mm-hmm. Millennium Mon does have a lot of timey-wimey stuff. Like, mm-hmm. as we discussed last week, Millennium Mon gave the Dark Spore to Ken, but it was meant for Ryo. Mm-hmm. But because Ken got the Dark Spore, Ken created Chimera Mon, and Chimera Mon jogress to be Millennium on who gave Ken the Dark Spore. <laughs> there is some timey wimey stuff, but it was an accident. He didn't mean there for was Ken an to accidental get the Dark Spore, closed otherwise time how... loop and I love every word of it. <laughs> yeah. Like how would he have given if how he wouldn't exist if he gave Ken the Dark Spore because he would have given Rio the Dark Spore and Ken created Chimeramon who jogressed with Megendramon, who became Millenniumon. Mm-hmm. So something is happening. Like, there was some timey-wimey stuff there. And Rio I'm had to exist so that ENIAC could abduct him and put him in Tamers. Mm. Yes. And also, all of it sort of happened and caused Apoclemon or something. There's a lot I of stuff love, that happened I because love of the, the adventure verse. I wish it would lean into how wild it gets and not just... just focus on trying to shock me with digivore again like i've seen it bro yeah yeah we, we can do we can do some good things with this uh do we have any other highlights because i'm just it was a really good episode, episode. Moral, there, there were parts that yeah there were parts that obviously are low lights and we'll get to that when we get to it but like this, a lot of this episode was just like a lot of highlights and a lot of it i mean some of it at least is sort of uh dependent on if skull nightmon is actually tailmon but everything else was just like, yep, th- this is a pretty solid episode. Um, I was actually really worried. I thought like, oh, everyone else is going to hate this and I'm going to be the only one liking this. So I'm actually kind of glad that uh, at least, you know, Quinn is fairly on board with this episode because I'm like, oh, I was, uh, it was kind of going to be sad if I... I mean, I still think I rated this episode probably too highly, but whatever, that's just my thing now. But oh, I just this episode, it wasn't terrible and I liked that. And it was just rehashing the exposition we already had but adding new bits but i sure did like how we actually got some plot maybe it's a, I don't know. Yeah, I it feels it. like yeah. a very good setup episode mm-hmm. yes yeah like no, they no. they maybe yeah. listened a little bit to to some feedback yeah. and i really genuinely appreciate that 
Yeah, it's it definitely puts us on. And I know I I think, can't remember if I said this in pre-recording or if it's actually recording. But what I said before was about how it sets us on a hopeful path, mm-hmm. and it makes it it opens a lot of doors that could be interesting ones. Not saying that it can still go completely wrong from here, but it does. It gives it has us a, a lot of things from what I can see. It's a lot of meat to work with that I wish we had maybe spread out over the past five episodes, but I'll take it. Yeah, and as long as we're going somewhere good, it would be good. If it, I, it feels it like good. a good start, and they got it, they have to. You know, Digimon does a good start a lot of times, and it's 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 the middle where they fall apart. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not including it, giving me hope in the highlights, just because it's been. I've been burned too many times already. Yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, do we uh, do we have any other highlights? We can we move on to the lowlights. I'm trying. I'm having a hard time thinking of uh, lowlights. Oh, oh, oh! I mean, the animation. I I do have. Mm, go for it. I have one last I mean, highlight. Yep. What's the highlight? While Greymon T poses during his digivolution. Oh yeah, yeah. I think he did that last. Yeah, episode. I he noticed did it last that last time. Week, I only but... noticed. Mm. I just love it. I'm here for it. T-Pose like for it. dominance while Greymon. Oh, uh, I thought I said it on I the like air. That. I made a joke about it to someone while I was watching it. That's a shame. I don't remember <laughs> it. Eh, anyway. It has been two um, Like I said, I, I, yeah. Yeah, I think I, maybe I made it as a joke off air to someone. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, it was probably to Elsa who watched the episode with me. Um, anyway. All right. Oh, uh, I also noticed we this week. Going for low lights now? I also noticed this week that during the ending theme, when Hikari's on screen, it just goes sacrifice. Yep. I hope that's a coincidence. <laughs> I hope it's just st- like I the really... most blatant and obvious foreshadowing the show's ever done. God, I dead Hikari at the end could be just—I mean, you know, killing your gaze. If it. we're being honest, but I mean, I- I'd be here for it, but I f- because like that's kind of s- uh, emotional. Mm-hmm. I guess if we're just straight up killing a character, but I can't imagine it to be an actual Digimon goes dark death. sometimes, but it never goes that dark. I mean, it went pretty dark with Jury and her mother and Leomon. Like that was kind of that's true. A little bit on the dark side. But we also didn't but... murder Jury and let Leomon deal with it. Yeah, that's the only time that's really happened is like Oikawa in Zero Two, where he's like, "Hey, I'm your Digimon," and then Oikawa dies. That's fair. Oh, that was pretty good, good but it was also the finale and a minor character. Yeah, it was also very much. It was also <laughs> glossed over very quickly, but like. Every time I think about that, I get a little bit sad for that little, like, uh, looks like a little mm. seed pod. Gets so upset because, like, he just met his partner after, like, 30 years and he just dies in front of his eyes. And that's so tragic. The music is so good as well. Oh, yeah. The, the, the music in this episode and same as last one. Oh, oh, I think I forgot to mention, but something I really, really liked was when we have uh, War Greymon evolving, like, well, Metal Greymon evolving to War Greymon. There's like this synchronized battle cry from both Taichi and Metal Greymon, which makes me feel like the children are more than just evolution batteries. He's actually they're actually sort of synchronized and also calling out together and using their like combining their powers to evolve. And it's just this really cool effect, and it just makes the kids seem like they're doing more despite just standing there. Um, also, shout out for Taichi for I don't think he was actually riding War Greymon this week, so that's nice. Yep. <laughs> But I'm not. I'm, I can't really remember. Uh, low lights time. Honestly, I could have just missed most of the fighting, especially the Bakemon. Oh yeah, the, the but the fighting was fairly quick in general, so it's not really much. Uh, the only low lights I can really think of is the characters still felt kind of. I mean, this episode wasn't really a character episode. It was a Lotmon explains everything. Yeah. But the characters like Taichi and Sora still didn't really feel like uh, real people. They felt kind of wooden kind of stiff and but that's the only low line i can really think of and that's it's not something that's unique to this episode it's something that we've had in previous episodes but again if they weren't stiff or wooden in this episode i don't know i mean i i feel like you wouldn't really notice anyway because it wasn't a focus on the kids <coughs> like they, they definitely existed though they definitely were they, they existed more in this episode than they have previously like i'm glad that they gave sora lines i'm glad that garudamon uh, again wiped out some enemies very quickly uh, that taichi was struggling with one that was cool uh but besides that i didn't really have that many lowlights especially not ones that are unique to this episode no i this i, I like this episode mm-hmm. um both of us had had subtitle problems and those were funny <laughs> 
Oh yeah, the, the uh, yeah the subtitle problems on Anime Lab were very like I took it as a funny moment. I was like briefly kind of like worried and like how am I going to watch this? But I think it actually went pretty well. Like it was harder to get uh, screenshots and I couldn't get a screenshot of the the big boy pants line, which is sad. Oh, I, wanted I to post that got one. It's a really funny moment. Yes, but yeah, just besides that, like I can't really have the the subtitles not being right as a low light because it's it, that that's more or less someone at anime lab's fault and i'm going to actually check to see if they check. fixed that because i mean i'm very i don't i don't think they would have fixed it because it seems no. nope they are still huge great right. <laughs> um so i'm glad i didn't I'm, i didn't wait until <laughs> like this morning or something to watch it uh so any other low lights or are we done which is probably our quickest low light <laughs> discussion ever um uh, big boy felt, pants still threw weird. me for a loop what Mm. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, nah. Yeah. Uh, ready to move on to favorite character? Uh, I, I wanted to say that it felt weird to me when we just got War Greymon in back to back episodes straight away. Just yeah, apparently no War Greymon yet. is gonna be just a finisher oh. move now. Yeah, but it's I'll so go on weird because like we started with him as War Greymon, then he just de digivolves, and then like ten minutes later he digivolves back up again. Yeah, they yeah, just felt eight. weird. <laughs> they clarified that's yeah, the new no, rule. I, I, I For that. now, at least, you can only do a few seconds as Wargreymon and then you're back to Ogdemon. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, it's a finisher move, and as you said earlier, it's like the blast evolution in 2003. Yep, which yeah. is I, I'm, I'm here for that. Yeah. We need other Digimon with those Digivolutions, though. We ASAP. really do. Like, please, for the love of which God, can Pi stop th- being the only character? I don't think that we're going to get that for a while. No. Like, evolution, like uh, evolutions to Ultimate. Hopefully we're going to spend some time with Patamon having evolutions, because Dill only can evolve to adult. Yeah, yeah I feel my like plan we're is get to deduct half a point arc. this week so I can add it next week, Patamon. <laughs> yeah. Are we ready to move on to favourite character? Yes, and then I would love to wrap up quickly because I have not eaten anything today and I am starving. Yeah, I am also hungry, but we can can do characters pretty quickly. Um, Mine's Lotmon, just because we got some plot and I was just excited that Lotmon gave us some plot. Lotmon was very good. Um... (laughs) Oh, but we already have a Plotmon, and that one's coming soon, so I'm waiting to make that joke. Ah, yeah. If Plotmon shows up, it might just be Tailmon for... Either way, I will make a Plotmon joke at that point, but yes. Oh, yes. I think we did a few episodes ago. For I've already mm-hmm. mentioned, like, we're on the search for Plotmon at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Who is Skull Nightmon, hopefully. Okay, so favorite character... Um... I'm going to say Lopmon, but it's in the adult form. Um, I'm just going to count that as Lopmon, because we're combining yeah. all Digimon that... That's fine. I just wanted to their, have said that I am clarifying. Their, their, their main one. Yep, yep. That, that is fair. Oh, I wrote that as Stevie for some reason. Uh, Stevie, <laughs> who are you choosing? I'm picking... Please be Lopmon, just because I don't have to delete it. Nope. I'm picking Gokumon, because the name makes me laugh every time. That's <laughs> fair. Gokumon That's fair. is pretty I'm, good. I, I like yeah. Gokumon. I mean, I would have picked Metal Phantomon. Metal uh, Phantomon is a really good choice. So, Gokumon counts as Metal Phantomon, so I, I, I will, uh, I, I like that. No, but it's just a <laughs> good Greymon. Uh, just War Greymon's more powerful than Goku. I want yeah. Gohan Mon. I want a Mon that is just rice. Uh, or, or food in general. Yeah. I like that. Uh, so, on to rating this episode. I probably rated this episode too high. I gave it a 4.5 because I looked Oof. at... Everything else I gave a 4.5 to, I'm like, yeah, this episode is pretty good. I really liked it. No, I... I'm uh, sorry. I don't think it's too high. I'm trying to decide between a 4 and a 4.5. Look, if you give it a 4.5, I'm going to have to give it a 5 on the basis of just, like, this episode was (laughs) See, I really am certain that it's not worth a 5, because it was good, and I'm really glad they got the plot. I'm, but it's only a five if we're grading so heavily on a curve. Yeah, um, but it's, maybe it's only it's com- good coming after it's something I gave a had. one. <laughs> I'm gonna be like optimistic and call that a four. Okie dokie. And uh, Stevie, um, I was thinking three point five, but next week's a power one episode, so this one's getting a three. And next week I'll just give it an extra half a point. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. So that gives it a an eleven point five overall, which means do we have anything else? Oh, we don't have anything else. It's eleven point five. This makes it so good. So it's above it's special. Yeah, I love when we do this because it means we don't have to talk about other episodes. Uh, the <laughs> next highest was eleven point one, which was episode two somehow. Uh, so that makes it. You know what? That feels about right. Um, just... This is almost as good as yeah. as episode two. 
which was just like they pulled a Megamon out of it, out of somewhere. Yeah, um, we were like, I, I was impressed tentatively, in and then a Megamon turned out to, as we predicted, be a bad idea. Yeah. Um. Uh. This is this means it's in overall ninth place, which feels like a good part. I'd like to point out that. Everything above it, episode 14, King of Insects, episode 15, Zudamon's Iron Hammer, episode 12, Lilymon Blossoms, episode 6, The Targeted Kingdom, episode 16, The Jet Black Shadow Invades Tokyo, episode 17, The Battle in Tokyo Against Orochimon, episode 1, Tokyo Digital Crisis, and episode 9, The Ultimate Invasion. That's... It's funny that we have something that's from the later episodes actually in the top. Mm -hmm. It's Uh, really nice. I'm very happy because it's nice to have something that's actually there... And uh, in my rating sheet, I've actually put in some charts now so we can see how mm-hmm. our ratings have changed throughout the episode. I put it in the, the chat earlier. No, nope, But nope. it is nice to see that we went... We seem to be just going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down in our overall ratings. It's kind of funny. Yep. Which means it's fairly, fairly inconsistent. We seem to really like episodes and then it goes really bad. Uh, so that happens. Um, anyway, so Stevie, where would you be putting the episode 31 in your ranking uh, just slap it right below the what episode two uh episode two uh you put that in episode two is in like... 13th place so this would be in 14th place uh, i think that's right yep okie dokie yep. and so it's above episode 11 the wolf standing atop the darkness yep oh, plus is my uh, and... highest rated three pointer hmm. yeah so that, that 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 fits. It's like a, a middle middle episode. Uh, Quinn, where are we putting episode thirty one? I apparently am pretty optimistic on this because I am putting this just above episode one, uh, below episode twelve in like seventh place. Yep. Which yeah, is... that's yeah that that is seventh place. I am not Feels being optimistic high, because I've been but... hurt. Yeah. No, I I feel like you know we all sort of put it in a reasonable place, like sixth place. Uh, 14th place and 7th place so we're all fairly a little bit more optimistic than in previous weeks but still also I, as Stevie said I've been hurt before by this show I don't want it to be this This episode's so good and then the next episode oh, yeah. just I've given up hope yeah. since Parmon didn't get dunked in the dark juice yeah yeah the dark juice woof uh, I wanted really the dark ju- juice to do something and it turned out it wasn't even respect women juice or anything no, it was just uh, it was just tea. Yeah. Unless we get a new evolution uh, for Patamon because of the dark juice, like if we just get like a sort of Ultras mode sort of thing that like Miasma's good sometimes. I don't know. Please, I would I was still so be desperate very for down the show for the to mutations. do something. Please, please do yeah. something, anything. I'm actually pretty here for Millennium Month so far, but you know. I mean, it's Millennium so easy for that not actually to... done anything in the show yet. He's just been an exactly. Exam. It's so easy for me to go. Oh, that's so... an interesting idea. Before they've had to execute anything. Yeah. Uh, we're ready to move on to questions because we have a lot of uh, questions to read that we'll kind of burn through pretty quickly because we've got uh, from last week as well as episode thirty. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So uh, first of all, we have Snide on YouTube, and these are all from YouTube. Says the Digimon carrying the uh, the bad, the Digimon carrying the kids into battle, thus putting them in more danger, has been weeding them out from the start. Way to fix a problem that was never there in the fir- first place. They hate the lack of direction and forward momentum in the show. Uh, Thirty episodes, and they don't really have any idea about how evolution works or what the lore is. Yeah. Which I guess this episode is sort of fixing. Oh, hey, air. Then they say that. Yep. Can I have you actually just post the text on these for me so I can... Uh, I, I'm, I'm only... Re- I'm... Oh, okay. It, I thought you had... You'd have to like, copy them off YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I'm reading them directly from YouTube. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah, so uh, Snyder also says there's a lot of Tai Chi, and apparently the next episode, which is this episode, will be about him, and it's not really. So hopefully that Snyder enjoyed this episode like mm. we did. Then says that the animation before War Greymon's appearance was good and it gave them nostalgia and they never cared about Vegemon until the episode. Uh, next <laughs> we have Ray of Truth who says that they love the quiet moments in Digimon Adventure 99 because of the atmosphere that it builds, especially in the original short film. But Colin doesn't seem like it's an intentional artistic choice and it doesn't do anything uh, for the storytelling like the original show uh next we have red ranger mon who asks when did paramon get so strong they know that paramon's a perfect evolution but they think that paramon's just the simp of the digital monsters and always just gets a rough shoulder by greymon now paramon is ripping metal greymon armor to shreds and is og paramon going mega on tier and metal greymon crossmon reminded me of 
the Golden Digimon from the Zero Two Kids. What do y'all think? Um, I think that this is Paramon as strong as he should be. I think it was weird that he was a perfect evolution Digimon, but didn't have was was losing against Greymon, which felt very weird in the original short. I actually prefer the way that Paramon how seem to be super strong in this episode. Uh, any other thoughts? Yeah. Um. I don't know. I'm yeah. I'm still holding my breath for the show, and it's it, they're almost bringing me back for a second with this new episode. Yeah. Uh. Next, we have MB saying that uh, who seemed not too happy with our review of the last episode. They're <laughs> saying that they guess that people just hate things that aren't adventure in Zero Two, which I feel like is very false because I constantly say that Zero Two has problems and rated as probably one of the worst seasons in my opinion. And also Adventure is solid middle territory because it's very much... Zero Two had a lot of eh? potential. Mm. But it didn't, I mean, you know, lots of Digimon does, but it didn't really live up to it. I don't care that Which this is isn't Adventure. Like, I want it to be new and no, not No, I'm glad that it's something it's, else. Yeah, it's not it either of those things. <laughs> no, but it is a thing you yeah. compare it to. And, and we're going to draw ideas from all of the previous seasons, apparently. Yeah. But yeah, it seems that we had, yeah, some people didn't like that we were kind of rough on the last episode. I'm just like, well, we're allowed to not like things. Yeah. Like, I, I know a couple of episodes somebody said, hey, do you even like Digimon anymore because <laughs> you seem to not be enjoying it? I'm like, I can still like something and criticize it. it well, liking and something does not mean that I can only say positive things. without hating all of Digimon. Yeah. I mean, this episode is a good example of they can do things well and also we can talk good things about Digimon. Yes, we are dissecting it, we are analysing it, uh, but that's... Otherwise, we're just it would just be us talking about the synopsis of the show. We have to actually discuss it. It's not enjoyable just for the synopsis part because we have to actually say how we feel about certain things because otherwise we're not reviewing it. Um, also, you are entitled to enjoy an episode. If we hate it, and you really like it, power to you. I'm not saying that you are not allowed to enjoy an episode. Like, even the time... Like, I gave the last episode a three. I thought it was fine. Quinn and Stevie gave it a one. That doesn't mean that any of us are incorrect in our enjoyment or not enjoyment of the last episode. It just means that we enjoy different things, and that that is normal. That is fine. It is okay for people to have different opinions on things. But it is also good when the show does better. Like, this is more mm. of a... Like, the whole season should be as good as this episode, if not better. But it sometimes isn't. And that that is... We're allowed to complain if we don't feel like something's that good. But again, we... Like, I, I'm, I don't really like adven the original adventure. I think that this show still has the potential to very much surpass the original adventure. The only time we really compare it is... When we say things like, oh, Devimon was a big bad in the original, and now he just kind of, he evolved into something even stronger. And then we have Millenniumon, who is from the Wonder Swan games, but not having my Mon. Like, we will compare it in terms of events, but more or less we want it to be different than the original adventure. And I want it to be better than the original adventure, because the original adventure, as I said, a solid uh, mid-ground season was okay like had a lot of bad parts only had a couple of episodes which i would say are really really good i want more things like atmon i want things that are removed from the rest of the the series of digimon the rest of the franchise because it means we get something unique uh, do we have any other thoughts on that i don't think so nope i like the original uh, adventure but i don't want more of it i wanted this to be oh, yeah, new definitely. but it definitely feels like it's sort of relying yeah, on the whole like... series as a crutch yeah yeah and I feel like if we're gonna if we're gonna use the old series as a crutch, I wish that we would go weird with it in a in a uniquely Digimon fashion. And we haven't done that either. Mm. I think we might. We might. Hopefully. I'm I'm still hopeful. But you know, mm. as much fun as it is to speculate about Rio showing up and, and explaining about what happened with Ruki and Takato, uh, like yeah. we can't really expect most of that to happen. No. Yeah, it it just kind of feels uh, like they've taken characters we remember caring about and not bothered writing anything new for them. It's just mm -hmm. more fights. Mm. And the worst part is, th and I've, we've mentioned this before, this show is for kids. And but it's for new kids who haven't seen the original, but without any context of who these characters are, we don't really know much about the characters except for their very brief uh, character profiles. Like we have, we know Mimi has rich parents, and we know Joe is under a lot of stress because he wants to become a doctor. 
But anything deeper than that, we're just drawing from the original. So mm. it, it would be nice for people who are watching this for the first time, who are children, who are new to this, the franchise. To feel like they're characters. It would be good for them to have more. Yeah. But also maybe kids don't care as much. Uh, and they I... probably don't. Like a, a kid would probably enjoy this. I feel like kids care more than we give them credit for, or at least a lot of kids do. Um... Oh, yeah. But, well, the younger, the younger kids, like I was seven when i first watched Digi like digimon adventure yeah so i don't i don't know i, I, I was, I was I probably 11 care. when my friends and i were like super into zero two. Oh yeah like th that is the age where you would start saying what's wh wh where's the characters but at the age of seven i don't think that mm, i really yeah, cared about fair. characters so i don't think mm, that in it, 15 years time we're gonna get 20 something year olds talking about adventure colon the same way you get people talking about the original adventure right yeah, now. yeah it's oh, a very funny different to, media landscape than it used to be um just in terms of mm. like i i don't think kids these days are getting up early to watch saturday morning cartoons which you know is both good and no, bad. it's all streamable exactly uh which i'm very like, i remember waking for, up but... early to watch things or like like tying on my shoes for school very slowly so I could hope to watch like the last 10 minutes of like <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh or Beyblades or something because I wasn't going to see it otherwise because I had to go to school so I was just like tying my shoes on so slowly and packing my bags so slowly as it played in the background but any anyway uh, moving on we have Carl, the otaku husband, who says that they're with us on the dub, but they don't want the Gajamon episode to be changed at all. They don't want him to speak, and that would ruin it. Oh, yeah, I, I would yeah, agree. Definitely. The fact that he was silent was... Like, that is still a really good episode. I really I want to rewatch that episode. If I have the Blu-ray now, so I want to... I, like, <laughs> it would be great to rewatch it. Like, even though it's on Anime Lab, I would like to rewatch it without the subtitles in the way. Because Anime Lab, you can't turn them off, which I found out this week. Anyway... Uh, and they on, they go on to say that Hikari is the worst thing in the show. At the moment, I uh, would probably agree. Like, we don't really have much from Hikari. Hopefully, we will have more. Please, more uh, Hikari. Next, we have... Please, more Hikari. Please, Skull Nightmon, be Tailmon. Uh, anyway, so we have Anthony saying that the uh, quoting us, the kids are written like their cameos in Zero Two. And then Anthony says that they'll do us one better. The kids are written like their cameos in Young Hunters. No one has reason to be here, and a bunch of them basically just don't even get to speak, which is yeah. the sad truth. Like, that that hurts. But hopefully we get more, hopefully. It's almost like um, the V-Tamer show, in terms of being mostly Tai Chi, but then they felt the need to include all the others. Because, I don't yeah. know, if this had been Vitae Murtaichi and then maybe Sora showed up for an episode, I would hate it a lot less. Yeah, I mean, I'm still glad that Garudamon got to do something, because I like Garudamon. Mm. Uh, next, we have someone else who is really, really unhappy that we don't like the episode. They say that this is the best season of Digimon, and said that Quinn and Stevie both lost all relevance for giving the episode ones and they're just hating for wow. no reason and that's the worst kind and they want you to go watch some boring anime where characters just talk this is not that kind of show um first of all you're allowed to think that this is the best episode like the best I episode the best, the best season yeah but like like that seems a little bit far like you're allowed to enjoy things. You're allowed to not enjoy things, as you yeah, said a little bit. Like I don't, I don't comment. hate like, the season for existing. I hate the last episode for existing. Um, yeah, like I hated episode. Was it what was it eighteen where we were basically just watching a manga? Oh yeah, and we, and we pulled a Megamon out, and all the other characters were just staring. I mean, that's yeah. that's the like, thing. Like we're allowed to not enjoy. Be things. a show where characters talk. Be a show where there's really good action. Ideally, be both of those things. But right now, we're not getting much of either one most episodes. Excuse me, most episodes. Mm. Yeah, it's... I don't know. De de definitely, you're allowed to like this episode, I would, I would you're not allowed to, to hear, say the people like, can't. I would love to hear a nuanced take from someone who thinks this is the best season of Digimon. I'm super here to find out what oh, someone yeah. likes about it. But between yeah, bad oh, visuals, absolutely. bad dialogue, bad directing, and bad story, I'm like, well, you know... There are really good gem episodes, and maybe we'll go somewhere, but we've had ten really rough episodes. Yeah, like, I would really like... Because a lot of people are saying, oh, I love this, this is my favourite season, this is the best. I would like them to go into detail is about... Is Leomon dead? Why they I think don't it's the best. know. <laughs> yeah, I would really like to know that too. But the thing is, like, I mean, I'm not saying... I, I, we're not saying, hey, tell us why you like it so we can say that you're wrong. I would like to know 
I, w- I would like to hear people saying why they like the show. A lot of people are commenting saying why they don't like the show. They don't like certain aspects about characters or what have you. And we're saying we agree similar with many things of those. To that too. But yeah, by all means, tell me yeah, what you like, like about the show. I'm I'm not here to be oh, a bitch absolutely. to you. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, I'm I'm absolutely here for people saying why they like shows or why they like episodes, especially if they disagree with us. Like, tell us. Like, don't say, "Hey, you are wrong because your opinion is different." Say. I, that, they, that you have a different opinion without discrediting someone else's opinion because... Yeah, if I tell we, someone their it's, opinion it's, is wrong, day, it's it's me joking. Yeah, unless it's something that's not an opinion and is like, um, you know, oh, trans people don't exist. Like, that's not an opinion. That is you just being a douchebag. Like, th- there are opinions that are opinions and then there are opinions that are not opinions. They're just hurtful things. But on this case... Their opinions, and if we are just saying we don't like an episode, it's not the end of the world to not like an episode. If you disagree with us, tell us why you like the episode. Defend, defend the season that you love. Defend the episode that you love, and we'll read that out and we'll say we'll we'll, we'll not argue with you because you're allowed to have opinions. We'll reply to points that you make, maybe, but yeah. please tell us if you like this episode. Don't just say, "Hey, you're wrong. I love this episode." Tell us why, because. Well, and and like, maybe, I like this you'll episode a lot us. too. If you but if you liked episode thirty, please by all means tell me what what it was you liked about that. Um, because oh, for yeah. me, it just missed completely. Yeah, I thought it was fine, but I as I said, I thought it was fine. I don't think it has any. I didn't care enough about the episode to say much about the episode when Quinn and Stevie gave a one. I was like, yeah, that that's also fair enough. Mm-hmm. It was, but it was fine. To me, it wasn't the best thing. It was very much a functional episode, That's fair. which a three is my default. Like a- an episode basically starts its life as like a two point five or a three for me, and then it either goes up or down depending on the rest of the show. I'm I'm just worried so, about getting my relevancy yeah. back. I, I'm already ass out on cloud. Like, <laughs> where do I go well, from here? Well, you gave it this episode a four. You gave it a four, so may- maybe this episode is okay. Um. Next, we have uh, another person who didn't like our review of the last episode. Um, well, not the last fine. episode, but the last episode episode, if you know what I mean, uh, is CJ, who says that they know negativity sells views, and I got to be... Look, first of all, um, <laughs> sells views. I have no idea we, how many we views got, we like, have. <laughs> we got like 300 views on, on YouTube. Hang on, I'll get the exact number. Uh, no, we got 1,000. So okay. we, we got 1,000 views for episode 30. Uh, which is a lot because episode 29's discussion got 500. Mm, okay, well, fair uh, enough. The Wonder Swan episode got 473. So negativity, no, it, it doesn't sell views. Yeah. Uh, what sells views is rec- being recommended mm-hmm. on uh, on YouTube. Yeah. That sells views. And that only happens if you've got yeah. other stuff that I'm, people I'm a pretty positive watching, so... person. I love talking about why I love Digimon. I just sometimes don't like Digimon. Yeah, like, I think honesty sells views. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't... <laughs> there's also the fact also people, apparently Cody yeah, there's the fact that views. I'm a, <laughs> yeah, there's the fact that I'm a guest on this podcast this is not my podcast I don't care if it gets views yeah yeah like and on the other hand I have been very very harsh on Digimon before and also I've been very positive on Digimon before the, the whole thing of my podcast is and was originally for the first like big chunk of it was that I was the fan arguing with someone who wasn't a fan on why this was good. So that positivity and negativity balances out. Mm -hmm. And that's why I guess we're not super famous then because I'm too gosh damn positive. (laughs) Uh, But anyway, so CJ says about how negativity sells views, which again, I would disagree with that. But... Uh, At they, the moment, I'm doing the, you guys are honest. getting yep. you guys are getting sleep meme, but it's you guys are getting views. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, we're not getting that many views. Like there are a lot of podcasts and a lot of other people on YouTube who talk about Digimon who get way more views than us. So like, th- thanks for the compliment. We're not getting we're, we're not getting that many views. Like uh, you know, a, a well, thousand and it's, like Stevie said, it's not like, my podcast. I don't I don't affect a character to to get views. I don't. I was yeah. It's really weird yeah. for me that uh, anyone cares what my opinion is, which is why I'm making jokes, because I'm yeah. uncomfortable with that fact. <laughs> yeah, like, at the end of the day, like, we're just liking or not liking an episode of a show. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, so CJ goes to be on goes to on to say that they have to be honest, they're seeking online validation, but they can enjoy the show for what it is, which, power to you, mm, I'm, I like, but, like, I did not like the last three parts of Try, and I didn't really like the story of Kazuna, but if people like that, like, that they enjoyed Try and they enjoyed Kasuna, 
go for that. That's great. You enjoy that. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm glad that you got something out of it. I'm glad that it it's, it did well. I'm glad that people are enjoying it. That is fine. I'm not going to mm-hmm. argue about whether or not someone can't in, uh, can enjoy something that I nece- don't necessarily enjoy. Uh, anyway, they say they realise that a lot of the, the fans at this point are just at the point where they've watched or analysed too much content. They can turn their they can't just turn their brain off. Yeah. And I often I often say that like I when I do turn my brain off, I still might have problems with it. Sometimes it's harder to ignore things uh, that are particularly bad or bad in my eyes rather. Mm-hmm. Uh, then they go on to say that. They understand as weekly reviewers of a show, it is difficult to find the positives as our taste in shows may change since we're a kid. And I feel like we have often uh, enjoyed episodes, even this season, like just to get up our rankings, uh, episode six, uh, I gave a five, Stevie gave a four, Quinn gave a Mm 4.5. Like we definitely found positives there. In episode 14, uh, I gave a 5, Stevie gave a 4.5, Quinn gave a 4.5, and then 15 got the same results. So it's not that... It's interesting that people are just coming out and saying that we have we don't like the show based on it's, last week's episode when... It reminds me... Um, no one... My, my friend Anthony yep. has a, a Tumblr that they run, um, or at least help run, uh, for Kingdom Hearts, and every time someone points out that, like... Kyrie is really badly written. Someone is like, you just don't even like Kingdom Hearts anymore. It's like, well, no, I just, I don't like that Kingdom Hearts is not very good for, you know, some large parts of it sometimes. Mm. And yeah, yeah I, I, and I want that show to be good, please. Yeah, I feel like being a fan isn't loving everything that comes out. Being a fan is, you know, experiencing whatever's coming out and also maybe discussing it, but doesn't necessarily mean you have to enjoy it. You just Mm-hmm. have to enjoy experiencing it like you don't have obviously if you if you hate every episode or something obviously maybe it's not for you but there've been situations where we have really liked an episode mm-hmm. uh Quinn and I both gave an episode of 4.75 uh Stevie gave a 2.5 but we <laughs> didn't really you know that's say fine. that I, anyone was wrong there for yeah. enjoying or not enjoying it. I, I guess my point is uh, that no one is trying to, like, channel Jay here. Like, that's not what we're doing. And, yeah, you we're know, not Jay finding Jay was frequently negative. The... And Jay was frequently right. Not always, but... Yeah, and also, but also that was kind of, like, the, thi- the thing of the podcast was... I was the overly happy, loving of Digimon fan mm-hmm. who, ev- who everything was positive. I loved Digimon. And then Jay was the other side of that coin... We're just like this is a dumb show for dumb children, and this is dumb. Like, and that 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 was what he would do. That that's what he would say. And sometimes he was right. Like, mm-hmm. well, a lot of the time he was right. Like, oh yeah, you're right. That is dumb. But and I think a lot of it was me and like our coverage of Frontier was just me uh, saying, oh, this is really good. And then Jay was like, yeah, but think about it. And like, oh, like yeah. the whole of our Frontier coverage was me just gradually learning how to hate Digimon. On the other hand, sometimes the dub just turns a random villain into Christopher Walken. <laughs> yeah, which is great. Like, and Jay was a fan of that. Mm-hmm. And then we, you know, we covered Atmon and then it was Jay actually saying good things about Digimon. God, I need to go back and watch Atmon. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Chilla we here too. watch some Atmon. Everyone watch Atmon. Atmon's Atmon's really good. In, and if you want to hear uh, somebody who's really negative about Digimon, enjoy Digimon for the first time ever. Uh, listen to our Atmon coverage. Mm-hmm. It's also me enjoying Atmon. I really love Atmon. Anyway, mm-hmm. uh, so uh, CJ says continues on to say that they look forward to rewatching the show in a whole once it's fi- completely done, and they're grateful that the reboot celebrating Digimon is perfect. It's not perfect, but then again, what is? And then says what the target audience is, and it starts with new fans, which I feel like we've Perfect. always said that this show is for new fans, but it also, for something that's aimed at new fans, it sure doesn't give us uh, characters. Yeah, this season in particular did uh, not seem like yep. it has been aimed at new fans. There are so many new evolutions in such a short period of time. Because they know which ones you've already seen and, and don't, you know, like, you don't get that hype about Bergeron. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you don't make a reboot of a 20-year-old show for your new fans. Maybe you don't, no. And, and, you know, maybe sometimes Digimon was a mistake, but we're here and we're trying to turn it into something good, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're still blasting through the questions, but we're more, we're more we're done on. than we were 10 minutes ago. Um, 
so we'll keep on keep on trucking through. Uh, next we have Number Hunter, who says that they honestly enjoyed that it was Tai Chi and Agumon's bonds that grew over the course of their adventure, along with their courage, causing the evolution to make a rather than just some MacGuffin arrows. And I think that's why I thought this the last episode was fine, is that it seemed that at least they had some bond between them, like it wasn't just random and it was their courage, but that's about it. Um, anyway, uh, they continue on to say it would have been real easy just to lay down there and not get back up to avoid going against powerful foe, however their bonds and their, with their friends gave them the courage to get back up and continue the, fright, the fight, and yeah, I, I, I liked it. Uh, next, Joseph said that they enjoyed the commentary that we had uh, for the most part, except for Stevie, because they didn't talk much and only came in to make random smug comments at times. I'm like, that's fair. So, like, I, I, I enjoyed that. You're, you, like, that's Stevie fine. is allowed to make smug comments at times. That, that is, that is fine. I am, because, I'm not also, the most talkative person, so it may just come in, I chip in with smug jokes, but that's just because I don't talk much. Yeah. And if that makes you a bad podcast host, that's fair. Yeah. We got I a think vibe. It's it fine. Works. We all bring something to the table, and sometimes it's good to have smug comments because they I are appreciate a smug comment personally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next we have Ritza who says that they're really bothered by Izzy's height. Uh, so we have, <laughs> and all the heights and the ages difference. in general. We yeah, we have twelve year old Joe who's slightly taller than eleven year old Ty, Matt, and Sora, and then they they are all slightly taller than the ten year old Mimi, but she is way taller than the ten year old Izzy. And Izzy is just really short for his age. I think he's just short. And then mm. I think he's just short, and I think Mimi is just. We stand I think a short Mimi's just tall. Yeah, and it it's almost like the ten year old Izzy is the size of an eight year old, while eight year old TK himself is the size of, his, of a four year old. That's not. And long. I feel like that's just yeah. I feel like that's just some height differences, and also to be fair, when you are twelve, and if you look at like a five year old, like a an eight year old, they do look like they're about five. That's fair. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. not very exact because it's Digimon, and you know when they wrote, when they made these character models, no one cared that much, and now we're just dealing with it. But we were not yeah. gonna like add four inches to to Izzy's height, even if it maybe would uh, make some sense. Nope. <clears throat> uh, next we have uh, Sleek Emu saying, "Hey, everyone, uh, anyone remember Devimon? No, okay, done. Because <laughs> yep, we're just we're just done over Devimon. That and, to be fair." A lot of yeah, he's done. A lot of the characters are just not present for that. Uh, next we have oh, uh, I'm it's Y Mengus who says that uh, they will say as much as they love the series, the kids are really lacking in what pulled them towards the 1999 version. Show needs more slice of life, you know, walking through the desert, riverbank, going to their apartment, whatever. Kids in 1999 were relatable. And their main objective was to get back home and only really had the attachment to the digital world because of their Digimon they had to take part in restoring it. Mm. Uh, it took time but realistically react to the situation that any of us would. 2020 kids bo- are born sol- soldiers, they're like heroes. I would say that the reason why they want to save the world more than just get home in this season is because we know that the real world is having problems and is being affected by whatever's going on in the digital world. There is a clear and present danger to the real world right now. And that's, I mean, that's yeah. good and bad. We're not doing enough with that because, I don't know, we're, 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 we came up with a really convoluted plot to an action movie. Mm. And I guess that's fine. Yeah. Uh, and then, lastly, they continue on to say that they love the actual war strategy that the kids utilize, guerrilla war tactics, Greymon based on land, and Grudemon in handling the Megadramon in the air, and then says the Wonder Swan games played like Fire Emblem games, and they took terrain into account. That's you true. You put your Digimon onto the board and go against the opposing faction. I started Tag Tamers, and the battle system changed, and I don't like that. It's just a uh, normal... It's just JRPG. Uh, ...turn-based strategy. Yeah. Yeah, it's just normal. But not even like JRPG where you can move around the field. Like, it's just uh, Pokemon style of... Uh, you get a turn, you choose tapa, which tapa, attack. Tapa. Or Yeah, it's very much just... Nothing, but I did like the battle in um, Anno Tame, and I'm a little bit disappointed that the battle system changed. Uh, but apparently, they that changed a lot. And finally, we can move on to the comments from uh, the Wonder Swan coverage, where uh, Kira says that as a Rio fan, they find all this interesting, but they want him to get developed beyond the Gary Sue. Mm-hmm. But they're afraid that Colin would just make him more of a Gary Sue. That's entirely possible. Uh, understandable. I mean, you know, it's the, it's the Patrick, same joke yep. we make every time. You know, what do you call a male uh, Mary Sue, the protagonist? A <laughs> protagonist, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we have Patrick, who I'm glad... So- I-, I made two uh, joke, Like, well, I made one joke that that I think 
either no one got or just it was just completely passed. Uh, the first one obviously being what Quinn just said is what do you call a male Gary, uh, Mary Sue or Gary Stu? No, it's the protagonist, which they found funny. Uh, and then next they said that uh, the most underrated, criminally so, moment was uh, against the moon equals millennium discussion, how I said that's rough, buddy. And then it was a, it was a reference that was just completely unacknowledged. I, I think and yeah, I, I must I have just uh, not heard you say it because I do, I do enjoy me in Avatar. Yeah. So, yeah, I made that reference and just no one reacted. Like, I, I guess it wasn't funny or just no one heard it or something. Yeah. So I just went on. But, yes, I'm so glad that Patrick picked up on that. Like, yes, good. Uh, one person. That That's said, all I hey, need. I do have to correct so, you. It's Moon Gets Millennium Mon. God, what are you even doing on this okay, show? Okay, my apologies. Moon you Gets Millennium Mon. You are completely Mon. irrelevant Yeah, what am now? I even doing? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say I'm irrelevant now. Uh, and uh, so... Patrick says they'd love to see Ty versus Matt again. Maybe once we have all the Megas, they just get into a Civil War type episode. And maybe a Fanny Mon, Seraphim Mon, the, the ones who have to step in. Uh, but they're not sure. But they're going to make the MCs and just ignore everyone else. And let's see them try to kill each other again. Like, uh, yeah, I think Matt and Ty like would be nice because that gives us kind of some characters almost. Yeah. Um, like I asked for it to stop being the Matt and Ty show and, and we got a real monkey's pie answer out of it. Yeah, we got like, hey, you want Ty? Just, just Ty? Okay, just fine. Tie? We can do the okay. Ty show. That's fine. <laughs> but uh, I'm, st- I'm still glad that Sora was there. Uh, but yeah, that was it for the uh, the questions on YouTube. Uh, but again, uh, please, if you liked episode 30, please please tell us. Or if you like mm-hmm. any of the episodes that we don't didn't review positively or didn't really like, please tell us. And mm-hmm. maybe you'll give us something to think about. Maybe you'll change our minds. Maybe it'll, it'll just be nice to hear from someone who's positive about things that we don't like. Don't just say, I like that episode, you're wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, because what, you can't be wrong That's about an opinion. Just say why your you opinion know? is different. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, it, it'd be nice. Yeah. All right, everyone. So thank you for joining us this time. Next time, we'll be covering episode 32, Soaring Hope. Do we have any predictions? I have one, but it's something that I can't say because it's something that is shown in the Digivice Colin toy and that may be a spoiler. So I'm not saying any predictions. So I will let Quinn and Stevie have any predictions that they have. I mean, I want to I think I've already one. glimpsed those spoils. I don't think I did. Um, I don't know. Takaru, I could maybe see Holy Angemon showing up, but I feel like it would be in the title. Um, I would love Sora to do something, but she won't. So <laughs> yeah, I she don't know. Might. I, I mean, I think it's. Go- I think we can all safe to say it's probably a Takaru episode, which would be nice because it's not Taichi or Yamato. But it's someone that else yeah. we get to have a character with which is good mostly i'm thinking hopefully, pegasus mom for flying he learns hope the... and that's that's mostly what i got well that was like what he said in his um in yeah in his armor revolution yeah no th- they had in the original oh. too oh i forgot i think it was that. actually soaring hope in the original oh ah, well i mean that would be dope then I, i'll have to look at i'll have to look at the exact words he says to see if it's the same as the episode title <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, it's gonna, sure. be, it's gonna be Takadu heavy. Obviously, Sora's not gonna get to do anything. Um, I'm, I I'm hope that we have more Evo. than more to Takaru. Yeah, I mean, I'm just hoping that we have more to Takaru than just uh, Onichan and Yamete. I <laughs> would love an Angemon like arm cannon or something. Just, yeah, just screw cool. it. Egg got okay. dumped in 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 modification juice. I doubt that's gonna be brought back. Quiet. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I, I can't say much because I think I might. No. Yeah, that's but fair. Hopefully, anyway, Takaru gets a character. I've said my predictions. Yeah. Chloe, do you have any predictions? Um, I am willing to bet that Ash is going to finally uh, tell Ice Devimon how he feels. And, well, that's good. Um, uh, yeah. What? That's good. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I yeah, thought I th- I May was the happen. one on painkillers. <laughs> <laughs> it's I everyone. We're you all on painkillers. My waiter. <laughs> No, sorry, I know nothing about Digimon, so I felt uh, not qualified to speculate, so I just speculated about the Pokemon crossover instead. That's my speculation. That, Ooh, that's, now you I gotta write the that. fanfic, though. Uh, pass. Oh, that's a good fanfic. Ash and Ice Devon. Anyway. That's a ship. OTP. OTP forever. I will um, say... Except for Rio and Millenniumon. Jay owes me, like, a year's worth of short stories uh, from Patreon benefits that I just, like, never got back in the day. Oh, uh, Yes. <laughs> Maybe, well, he is. A, he, Jay is I'm in the Discord saying. server, so you you can poke him about that. Just ping and him. if he's feeling, so he might be. If he's in a good mood, he might actually give something. He posted a picture of his cat the other day. Fair enough. So he is there. I mean, back in the day, I was gonna I was uh, gonna force him to like write me a, a thousand word erotic fanfic about Black War Greymon, but oh, uh, 
I, there is he he would do that for a price, I'm sure. Well, I was paying you guys thirty bucks <laughs> a month. Like I felt like I paid that price. <laughs> but anyway, um, none of yeah. that matters. I just <laughs> enjoy making jokes at Jay's expense. Yeah, but uh, if you too want to talk to Jay, uh, you can hop on to our Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, which I will tell you shortly, unless I flub my words as usual. Uh, will we get to the point where I get to now try to see if I can flub my words or not? Next time on L I T Lit. That is lit fam. Mm-hmm. I like that. That that's what the Gen Z kids say, right? Lit fam. Sure. Are we? Are, are, are Tomato, still, do basil, the kids still say that? I don't know. But now it'll get you Maybe. bit. I like that. Um. So of course the link dumps in the description, and I will be assuming I remember. Uh, editing May. When you're editing this, remember to put in the the subtitles uh, that you got from Anime Lab in the link dump. Mm. So people can see the terrible subtitles that Anime Lab had and still hasn't fixed. Uh, and this is now 9am and the episode came out at 2pm yesterday. So the, yeah, the subtitles are there. Anyway, so that's linked to the description. And so is our Redbubble. You can get more than just shirts there too. Contact us and stay updated. We have an email address, lostintranslation.gmail.com. Though I'm getting a lot of spam lately. So maybe... Not the best way to contact me because there's so much spam all of a sudden to that address. Uh, so you can comment on something this episode or message us on our website, at Lost in Trans- which is lostintranslation.com. Uh, also, we have YouTube where we mainly read the comments from. So if you are listening to this on YouTube, just chuck us a comment, especially if you like something that we don't like. That'd be nice to hear. And don't just say that you like it. Say why. And, of course, you can follow us in that translation on Twitter. And you can also find us on Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, Lost in Translation Mon. And we have the discussion thread on With the Will and one in the Digimon subreddit on Reddit. And we'd appreciate it if you would review us on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and any other podcast app that you use, if they have reviews, obviously. And if not, just send them an email saying, you should have reviews on your platform so I can give Lost in Translation Mon a Digimon podcast five stars. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll read out your review if you do that. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can donate to our Patreon, which link from the... I was doing, you were so, doing well. so well. Ah. Uh, link- <laughs> I have trouble with the word which is linked in the description. Mm. So yeah, that's linked in the description from as little as a dollar a month. And you can get list- listener Discord server. That that I said mm-hmm. that before I should. Uh, which gets you access to a listener Discord server. Uh, we don't just give you a Discord server. We give you access to our <laughs> Discord server where you can poke Jay and at him and say, this hey month Jay, only, though, we write will allow you to create fanfic. your own Discord server. <laughs> yeah, you, you can because Discord allows you to do that. Mm-hmm. But you, you join ours for a dollar a month and cut out the middleman and you can chat with us. Um, but there are higher levels with more rewards, so check that out. And thank you to our current supporters on Patreon, Joe, Stephen Reeves, who's 164 on Archive Our Own, Kadawashi, Chisai, who you can follow on, t- on Twitter, almost said Tumblr again, at Chisai236, Kyle, Lizmet, who's a Lekman on Tumblr, Nicholas, Metal Maimon, Sam, Anthony, Keith from Gone Will Hunting, a Hunter Hunter Rewatch podcast, Silverhead Freak 25, Magnus, Lucas, Blind Man, Japhus, and Patrick. And, of course, you can also make a one donation on our PayPal, which we also have a coffee, and I started talking when I was still talking about PayPal. So <laughs> PayPal is paypal.me slash edgemon, and also we have a coffee account, ko-fi.com slash edge, which we had a lovely donation from Chakmon today. Woo. Or not today, yesterday. I'm already flubbing. I already flubbed. What's the point of even trying when I've already flubbed? Uh, but yeah, so thank you for that, Chakmon. And of course, thank you for listeners for listening. And of course, thank you to Chloe, special guest, for joining us. And of course, thank you to Quinn and Stevie for joining us, as always. And can we find either of you anywhere special besides, obviously, the Moncast, where we all... <laughs> appear on occasion heck no <laughs> just do my plug for me why don't you oh sorry did you want with your own plug i'm sorry yeah we're all on the moncast and last week we released um an interview with jeff neboy that i did last year i forgot so about that go listen to that because it's really good yes yes also jeff neboy follows me on twitter now Leonard Nimoy, so if we're being honest yeah i i have never had an interview with anyone imp- important except for obviously quinn and stevie they're the only important people <laughs> that i've interviewed by oh. extension you've interviewed jeff neboy now yeah by extension you're by yes. the transitive property of interviews yes mm-hmm. yeah i think i added him once asking him why uh yo lee was yo lee and he was like because of terry leo Mal- malley and i was like okay fair enough yeah. So that that's the only hey, made it uh, the interview I've ever had. It made it onto the wiki. I'm like, hey, I exist. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, but yeah. That, that's about it. Jeff Nemo follows me on Twitter now, so my opinion is now more Yay. correct. Woo. Yay, and not irrelevant. <laughs>
and this is how I want to close off this episode, is uh, the millennial version of Hey, We Should Start a Band is Hey, We Should Start a Podcast. You're not wrong. And I heard that about a year and a half ago, and it's still, like, the most, like, true thing I've ever read. Like, it it feels like it's something that Pascal in Animal Crossing would tell you. Like... <laughs> It feels like that, that that hits hard. Like, wow. Anyway, so thanks for listening and thank you to Quinn, Stevie and Chloe, or Chloe as we've called her, uh, for joining me on this podcast. And we will see you guys next week and hopefully uh, episode 32 continues on with not being terrible or else we'll run the risk of being irrelevant again. So, <laughs> yes. So see you all next time. Bye. 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 Bye.